Hey, welcome back! Today we got all of the dev chats from October 2022 to go over. If you want to see more about Paralives, check out their Patreon, social media accounts, and the written dev chat documents. I have all of that linked in the video description. Let's get to the good good! We're going to begin with the community voted questions. What do you think about situational variations for outfits? For example, different outfits for actively swimming and just lounging by the pool. Will players be able to dress pair folk in swimwear even for their everyday outfits? And things like that. I'd love to see situational outfits for different categories, but I do wonder how that would work. Would they automatically change into them based on their activity, or would players just have to switch back and forth through the different outfits for the categories? I feel like the second choice would be better, but then that just brings us back to the whole situation we have in Sims 4. So what do you think about this? Planning a wedding ahead of time would be fantastic. Having the ability to order the cake, plan the meal, choose the outfits, and have parties beforehand, and assign roles to your friends and family would be an absolute dream come true in pair lives. Can our pair folk have multiple babies like twins or triplets? Twins are confirmed and triplets are more or less confirmed, but nothing else. Moving on to general questions, answers, and ideas. I would love to see a Paramaker demo before early access to the game. I feel like that's a great idea, but it's probably just because I want to get my hands on the game, any aspect of the game, sooner. So, yeah. Although a live mode is being worked on right now, that doesn't mean that it's the only thing they're focusing on. They're still working on Paramaker in the build mode. Currently, Paramaker is in a good spot, but build mode needs a little bit of love. Will there be seasonal music or seasonal versions of base game songs? At the moment, there won't be anything like that in game. There are ideas to incorporate something like this, like maybe adding or switching different layers depending on the season. However, this is still under consideration because that would just add to the production time for the soundtrack. The team is still brainstorming various accessibility features, more likely options like being able to disable flashing lights or swaying bushes will be included eventually. Moving on. Prices for items, for example a bed or a meal, will more likely be fixed. They won't be changing. Since story progression won't be included in early access, they're still brainstorming how it'll work. The main challenge would be to be able to generate interesting backstories without losing focus on the player's paras as the main characters. Being able to customize schools and workplaces by setting a school uniform, school hours, and grade levels will probably be something that can be done through the mod system. If the devs can do it, you probably can do it too, since they're adding most of the content through their in-game modding tools. Unfortunately, a stage between baby and toddler is not confirmed right now. In addition, being able to travel with the little ones is still unconfirmed. They are currently working out the details for these life stages. It would be fantastic to see children interacting with their new baby siblings. I think that would be adorable and would love to see several different interactions like them playing with them or trying to communicate. For now, there won't be any babies by accident. Having a baby is always a choice made by the player. There will be a limit of how many paras you can have in one household, but it's still unconfirmed how many that will be. The decision will be based on technical reasons, balance, and other design considerations. Despite this, you can always increase it through the mod system. It would be useful to have features that help players who like to switch between different households. Features like being able to determine a cycle length, choosing what households are a part of the rotation, and dealing with unplayed pair folk aging. I think that would be pretty cool. Honestly, I never really thought about having features that were designed to help rotational gameplay, but it is pretty cool to think about, and I think that could be useful. Details on holidays haven't been decided yet, although Paris shouldn't have to be forced to enjoy a holiday if they're not a fan of it or if it doesn't fit with their personality. And I agree. I don't think every single person should be celebrating every single holiday, especially if it didn't fit with their personality and what they liked. Next, we got build mode stuff. 
Resizing furniture might cost you more or less depending on what you're doing with it. However, changing materials for the item is a whole different story. This is because it might actually deter players from customizing their homes and furniture. This isn't confirmed though and might change in the future. Will there be a filter for custom text in the game? Probably not since creating a filter might not be a good use of their time. At the moment, players will be able to take pictures in photo mode and then use the picture import feature to put that picture into a frame in their house. This is the way you'll be able to capture family photos and include them throughout your para's home. Paramaker is our final category. The outfit system is how you link different pieces of clothes together to easily switch between them. The devs want this system to be as flexible as possible, maybe by allowing more or less options in the outfit category. For example, your para doesn't care to dress up, so they wear the same or similar outfits for their party or formal wear as they would for their casual wear. The details of the system are not set in stone. Would there be a way to change hair color without changing the genetics? I think that we should be able to change their hair color without it changing the genetics because people dye their hair in real life all the time. I definitely have. It would be weird if a character dyed their hair and then had a child and that child came out with the same hair color as their dyed hair and not their natural hair. It would just be very, very, very strange. That's it for October. Next month, we're going to look over all of November dev chats, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoy these updates, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for future dev chats. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.